first reaction that we're going to look at on this sort of aerobic uh, respiration journey, if you will, is called glycolysis. And what happens in glycolysis is you take the respiratory substrate, in this case we're going to look at glucose, and we're going to split it. It happens in the cytoplasm of the cell. It's important to remember uh, that it happens in the cytoplasm of the cell. So, what we do is we start with glucose. Now, glucose, as you should remember, is a six carbon sugar. And the first thing we're going to do is a reaction called a phosphorylation. This means we're going to add phosphates. Now, we actually get the phosphates for this, strangely enough, from ATP. So whilst in aerobic respiration you want to make ATP, we're actually going to need to use some ATP to start the whole process off. So we're actually sort of in a negative yield of ATP at this point. But it's important we do this to phosphorylate this, uh, this six carbon sugar. So as you can see, the phosphates move from the ATP molecule when it gets broken down to ADP plus, plus phosphate, and they join to this glucose molecule. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the splitting, okay? We're going to do lysis, and we're going to split that six carbon molecule into two three carbon molecules, and these are called uh, glycerate three phosphates, okay? Um, the next stage is to convert these further into molecules called pyruvate. So we turn it into two pyruvates, and when you do that, there are two important things that happen. First of all, for each glycerate three phosphate converting into a pyruvate, we make two ATPs. So in total, we're going to get four ATPs here at this point. As well as that, we're going to do our, um, a, a reduction. Okay, We are going to reduce NAD. Now, NAD is a coenzyme. It's a hydrogen acceptor. It will accept hydrogens. And so that NAD, we're going to take two NAD plus molecules and we are going to, uh, they're going to gain some electrons and gain some hydrogens to become uh, reduced NAD, which is also known as NADH. Okay, now that's very, very important because throughout the other reactions we're going to see we're going to make quite a lot of this NADH. And that NADH is going to go uh, eventually to the very last part of the aerobic respiration process uh, which is called the electron transport chain and it will be used later to generate ATP. So overall in glycolysis we end up with two ATPs produced. Remember that we are making four but remember we had to use two initially at the beginning of the process and we are releasing also two NADHs which are going to go to the electron transport chain.